Hey, I have a Volkswagen Golf R, and I just want to quote on the 60,000 mile maintenance. Let me have the service advisor give you a call back in just a little bit. They're just finishing up with a guest. They can call you and they can let you know exactly how much it's going to be. A few moments later. Matt, Jose over at Audi Volkswagen. Just giving you a call here. Got an email across my desk that you were wondering about uh, the 60,000 mile maintenance on your vehicle. Uh, 60,000, what that would be, would be an oil change, a tire rotation, replacing the in cabin pollen filter, and we would be doing a brake fluid flush on your vehicle at that time. Um, for that 60,000 mile maintenance, uh, parts and labor there would be 265 plus tax, of course. What's up, guys? Matt here. See this Volkswagen Golf R right here? Yeah, it just ticked past 60,000 miles, which happens to be a Volkswagen recommended service interval. So I figured I could save a couple bucks and I'll do it myself. Luckily, ECS Tuning has a 60,000 mile service kit and the guys over at ECS Tuning were kind enough to hook me up with one right here. So they wanted me to show you guys what it's all about. As always, the link is in the description. Let's get this car off the lift, put this car on the lift and get started. All right, so now that we've got the Golf R up on the lift, I wanna just take a moment to show you around the shop. This is going to be our temporary workspace. If you caught my last video, you know we were moving. So uh, we had to get out of the garage and currently that garage is right here. Tool chest, winter wheels, and all of the tools are in these Rubbermaid containers. So with that said, the shop may look a little familiar to you guys and that's because I did do some jobs in the past in here uh, on the Golf R, the Audi S4, Audi A4, and uh, just really lucky to be back here and be able to work in a shop with a, a proper lift. So with that said, let's talk a little bit about the 60,000 mile service kit provided by ECS Tuning. The service kit will provide all of the parts you need to do the 60,000 mile service on this Volkswagen Golf R. So first we've got to understand what the 60,000 mile service entails. So I'm going to put the Volkswagen service charts on the screen right now. So pause the video if you want to take a look at that a little bit more in depth. We're going to be looking at the items checked in this column right here. So the ECS tuning kit supplies all the parts that you need for the 60,000 mile service maintenance, which include five quarts of 5W40 engine oil, an oil drain plug with a crush washer on it, four spark plugs, a cabin air filter, as well as an engine air filter, an oil filter, and the oil filter o-ring, as well as a fuel filter. And then you also get the service sticker, so you know the next time that you need to change your oil. And due to some modifications that I've done to the Golf R, I actually don't need the intake filter. I'm running a CTS cold air intake. That's not going to be installed, but everything else will be. But first, there are some items on that Volkswagen service mileage chart that are just inspections. So let's go around and we'll check those. And while we have the tires off, the cars also do for a tire rotation. So we'll swap the front tires for the back and vice versa. Okay, I just measured the tread on here. We're at about six sixteenths of an inch, uh, which is plenty of tread. As you can see, the wear indicator is way down there. And if you remember, we did change these pretty recently, so you wouldn't expect there to be a whole lot of wear on these tires. In terms of the brakes, if you really wanted to, you could measure the thickness of the rotor, uh, but what we're gonna look for is really any visual wear to the rotor that is unusual. They feel like they're wearing smoothly. And then you're gonna look down here and look at the pad. We've got plenty of pad left uh, as seen by this indicator notch in the middle here. The fronts may be a little bit more worn down because the front brakes do more braking than the rears. 
But as you can see here, we've got plenty of pad left on the front brakes and they seem to be wearing uniformly. As the rear washer nozzle goes, it's right here. And uh, because I'm the one driving the car every day, I do know that that is clear and is working properly. So I'm not going to have to check that. Okay, to check the battery, push this tab in and you can see the battery. You want to visually inspect it for corrosion. Um, and if you want to, you can put a voltage meter on there to test the voltage. So I've got the voltage multimeter set for volts and set for 20 volts. Let the meter know approximately where you're going to be at. So if you're between 2 and 20 volts, that's about where you want to put the voltage meter. And ideally, we're going to be around 12 volts. This is a 12 volt battery. I have the ground probe touching the negative terminal and then the positive probe touching the positive terminal and when you make contact with the terminal you'll get your reading which is 12.32. So let's put this guy back on basically you got two tabs in the back push it in here pop it back on that clip will clip in place the last thing we need to do is check the oil level the oil level you're going to pull the dipstick, clean the dipstick, put the dipstick back in the engine, then check the oil level to see where it's at. So as you can see, the oil level is right in the middle of where it should be. Um, we need to check some of the other fluid levels. Specifically, we've got this coolant tank right here. You wanna make sure that the fluid level is between these two markers down here. And as you can see, our, our fluid level is between these two markers, so we do not have to add any coolant to the tank. We also have to check the windshield washer fluid, and I'll do that right now. Okay, so with the windshield washer fluid topped up, we're good on coolant. The oil level is good, so we know that the car wasn't burning or leaking any oil. We're ready to start installing the parts that were included with ECS Tuning 60,000 mile maintenance kit. So what I want to start with is the oil change. And because I've already done that on this channel, uh, I went through the oil change on this Mark 6 Volkswagen Golf R in good detail. So if you want a detailed procedure, go check that video out, um, otherwise I'm going to get this oil change real quick. So you may be wondering why I just took the car off the lift. We're not done with the 60,000 mile maintenance. Uh, well, that's because I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow to finish this job. But we did get all the system inspections done. We topped up the fluids, we changed the oil, and we rotated the tires. So I mean, all in all, a pretty productive day. 
Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and do the spark plugs, the fuel filter, and the cabin air filter. Uh, that shouldn't take very much time though. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna post those videos shortly after posting this video. Uh, so in the meantime, consider subscribing to this channel. I post videos like this all the time, working on my Volkswagen Golf R and Volkswagen Jetta. Big thanks to ECS Tuning for providing the parts in this video. And if you do go into the part links in the description and buy those parts, I get a small kickback from ECS Tuning, which helps me fund these videos and provide quality content for you guys. So like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. As always, this is Matt. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.